Okay. You made something, a game, a piece of software, and you made it open source. Good for you. But most people don't want to download sources and build it themselves. Some people can't. How do you get your installer or your downloadable package onto GitHub? Here is our project's GitHub page. I've pushed the latest source code, and I'm going to assume that you've already prepared your installer. So let's see, how might we upload it? You might think you use this Add Files button, but actually this is an alternative way to upload your source code to GitHub, just as using the Code Download Zip button is an alternative way to download your source code. What we're actually looking for is over here on the side, this Releases section. But what about the Packages section right below it? If you build something for Docker or Node.js or Ruby, maybe, but it's not what we're looking for. Back to the homepage, let's create a release. GitHub's releases feature is built upon Git's tagging feature. Tagging is taking a snapshot of the current state of your source code. GitHub's releases add additional metadata to a tag, such as a title, a description, and downloadable files. Let's fill this in. Version 0.1, we'll call this initial version. Uh, this is my initial version. We'll scroll down and we'll drag our binary file to the page. You can also mark this as a pre-release, say, if you wanted to share this download with a smaller group of people. We're all done here, so let's click Publish. And as you can see, you've got your downloadable binary and a couple snapshots of the source code. Now when we return to the home page, you'll find your latest version listed in the releases section. A little tip. If you click the title of the releases section, it'll bring you to a listing of all releases. I've gone ahead and made a second release here to show the difference. This releases link is a good URL to give someone because it will always point to the latest version. And for completeness, I'd recommend dropping a link to your releases page right in your readme file. That's it, we're all done. If you wanna know how to host your web game on GitHub, watch this next video.